anything you'd like to share with us about, uh, you know, your insight about um, the, the, the fair and some of the challenges and some of the insights of uh, where the, what what the fair's goals are for the, for moving forward. Uh, well, our, our ultimate goal is always uh, uh, education and awareness around agriculture. Uh, not only uh, to provide entertainment, um, but we, we do want to bring back uh, a piece of the heritage and uh, uh, make a lot of people aware of what uh, where their food comes from and what life was like uh, you know decades ago. Um, so there is definitely an education aspect uh, tied in with the entertainment as well. Right. So you're staying true to your core of what agricultural really is. It's our past and our future. Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's what uh, we're uh, we're trying to achieve, and uh, just uh, um, uh, keeping people uh, aware and in touch with uh, with uh, the, you know the way things are outside of the city. Is there anything special that your Milton Fall Fair does that would be different, or that that visitors could expect to when they came up? Uh, well, I mean, being one of the, uh, the smaller fairs, uh, there's definitely a little more, um, uh, almost uh, uh, an intimacy you can get uh, a little closer than you would, uh, say, at things like the C&E. Um, uh, so you have the opportunity to uh, get more time uh, with uh, people involved in the agricultural industry, with uh, farmers uh, and also um, uh, producers uh, in the area. Uh, so, being a small affair, you have a little more of that, that opportunity than if there was a very large, uh, uh, large operation such as the uh, the, the uh, CNE. Any ideas that you have how to get the volunteers to to want to come and be part of the Milton Fall Fair? Uh, well, I, I, typically most of our, our volunteers have, have been uh, either family, friends, or, or uh, uh, kids of parents that are involved in, uh, in agriculture and in, uh, in farming in the area. Um, so that, but that's kind of changing as, uh, as that generation is getting older and, uh, and farms are moving further out to rule. As myself, uh, as I have gotten older, I started volunteering uh, in, uh, in high school uh, through another uh, high school friend. And uh, as that connection gets lost between, uh, um, the through age gap anyway, it's, it's tougher to get, uh, to get new, new uh, youth involved with the fair. I know a lot of people that, that, that do, once they become a, a integral part through uh, either being involved with one of the shows or uh, uh, exhibiting uh, uh, any type of, uh, of their own uh, crafts or animals, if they have any, or, uh, or anything else so that we offer at our fair, they usually stick around, but it's just uh, it's tough to initially get people to, to uh, take that step. Once they take the step, they're probably hooked. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's generally the way it is. That anyone who takes that that step and gets involved the first year, usually they're they're uh, they're a lifer. It, being being a volunteer position, it's also it, it is a lot of uh, a lot of uh, responsibility and uh, uh, and work that uh, that a lot of people aren't you know they're either not sure about committing to or they they don't want to. Um, it's almost uh, I, I wouldn't say lives have gotten busier than they were, but the uh, they've changed in a way that. Uh, uh, they make it difficult for everyone to handle the, the additional uh, paperwork or the, the meetings. Uh, so uh, it's a different kind of busy, I think. And that's what keeps people, uh, from, well, or, or prohibits them from uh, making large commitments to being uh, an executive director. Uh, this is actually in my, my, um, now my, my second year as president. I've been on the board for uh, about 11 years now. Um, and it's, <laughs> yeah. So, it, it, it is. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun, and the reward, the reward is great. But there is there is a bit of a time commitment. Um, so that that's uh, that's the difficult part. But I mean, that's not that's not all that's uh, always needed uh, when it comes to volunteer uh, volunteering with the uh, our fairs and uh, or any any agricultural society. Um, it's uh, it's just uh, getting people in there to even help with the, the setup, the tear down, uh, to help manage. Uh, some of the events involved with the fairs. There is a lot that goes on. I, I truly believe there is something for everyone at the fair. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, getting people to find what they what they like there. I volunteered because I wanted to. I could get in. I could get out, and then that was it. My job was done. It wasn't, you know, a follow up meeting afterwards. Or it, volunteering is it's usually finding the role that the person enjoys the most, whether it be just a day or half a day or whatever. Their, their help, but um, make it enjoyable at the same time so that they want to come back and uh, uh, you have, have to be uh, uh, as much enjoyment if not more than there is labor. Yes. So 
yeah, just to keep people there. But the, our, our grounds, uh, being in the heart of Milton, uh, we definitely jam a lot of heart into it. Um, so there is a lot of content, there, there is a lot of education, uh, uh, especially on our youth day for uh, a lot of schools, and there is a, a, uh, a large amount of entertainment there as well for people who just want to, uh, to come out for the, uh, the shows and, uh, and the uh, entertainment aspect. Yeah, but then that's something new that we, we've started implementing too is uh, um, weekend passes. So typically, uh, last year was the first year that we've uh, put them in. Uh, we're trying to promote that a little more. Um, that where you can, for for, uh, for a discounted rate, you can get a pass for the entire weekend. So if you did want to visit uh, a couple of times, uh, uh, it would be uh, a lot cheaper than having to buy two passes. Uh, I guess just the, uh, the people that you get to meet are really one of a kind. Um, and uh, devoted to hard work and keeping good things going. Um, and I think that uh, not only is it the, the fair itself, but the, the people involved with it keep me coming back and uh, keep me working hard. Um, and it's been, uh, been something that I intend to do forever. And uh, when I look up uh, on the uh, on uh, the, the pictures in our uh, boardroom of all the past presents, it's a neat thing to see all the family names. And they go so far back. And although I'm, I'm the first uh, in my family to be a part of the fair, I hope that uh, my kids or grandkids uh, later on will see our family name all the way down the line as far back until myself. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's neat to have a almost a traditional legacy that you can establish. And, and I think the fairs are a place where you can establish these sort of things and keep them alive. It, there is there is a satisfaction in feeling that you've actually contributed and helped and, and made something successful. Yeah, there, there is. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's it's really neat to see uh, how many generations of uh, others have been involved. Um, so you, you definitely feel uh, a part of something good.